Do Not Track is a project uh, talking about the web economy and the tracking that happens online. And one of the big uh, goal of the project was to say, let's use the media that we're talking about to talk about it. And so the idea is to tell a story about data using the user's data instead of having just a um, classical documentary that would say, this is what happens when you get tracked. You actually get tracked along the way. So it's a series, a documentary series of seven episodes that are small online experiences, um, allowing the user to see a bunch of um, different aspects of tracking online uh, that goes from big data to the mobile phone to social networks um, to explain a little bit more concretely because it's a very abstract subject uh, what is going on with our data and who is collecting it and how we can get a little bit more power. And basically it's a, it's a project of a bunch of guys who had a dream about what could what internet could be and that saw this dream starting to get a little bit um, like this is the end of the party and we need to do something about it. They were scared, clearly, and since the beginning, even before we, we released the first episode, we're just starting to collect an um, email address saying we're going to track you and already people were like, oh no, 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 I don't want to be tracked and you're like, but this is what what's what's happening to you all the time. So they were scared, but I think it's the best way to learn. And when you understand something, even if it's scary, even if it's not a reward, like entertaining, you actually feel good to know a little bit more what's happening in a very blurry place that you didn't understand. And this is actually concerning all of us. I mean, we are using these tools every day for every part of our life now. With The children are using them. We are doing our communications with the people we love. We're working with it. So everybody felt actually, at least at some, to some extent, concerned by it. All the people actually that we had feedback on. Um, so this is mainly the reaction. Like, thank you for explaining us something that felt really a, a dark place where we couldn't even start to understand something. I think the awareness is raising. I'm not sure it's raising enough. I don't know yet. Um, but basically we are, it's a little bit like, um, we, we used to compare it a lot with um, ecology and environment. Like we don't feel it. In a, on a daily basis, I mean, you don't feel the the warmth uh, of the the global warming going on or or the um, icebergs um, melting, but we're all concerned. And data is a little bit like that. And the problem is that if the awareness don't um, influence either the political uh, the the political parties to make new laws or the commercial aspects of it to make new rules because it's going to be interesting for them to make profit, we're going to have the same consequences um, than with environment that are completely impossible to, to forecast. The alternatives are not very, there's not so many things that you can do instead of what the big actors of the market. There are small things, but it's a little bit like ecology. Like everybody, if you, if you talk with specialists and with hackers, they say you have two categories of people reacting to tracking. Like you have two categories of people reacting to ecology. Either you think that everybody can make a difference by um, separating plastic from, from glass. And the rest of them think if, the, if there are no political views, political objectives on that, nothing's going to change and this is just a, a, a drop in the ocean so I, I protect myself I was not very fond of, of social networks already I don't have a Twitter account I barely use my Facebook account um, I protect my webcam this is one of the things that I would recommend even if it's not something that we really um, say and do not track and I download as 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 um, little application as possible because this is really the worst like mobile phone 
knows everything about me and apps have access to everything that mo my mobile knows so i try to i try to limit like today i had a i wanted to to book a uber uh to go to the airport to come here and when i tried to to open the app the app told me oh you need uh to to upgrade it so i go up to up to the upgrade page and the upgrade page says that um, in addition to the contacts, the telephone, the photos that we already have access to, we now need access to your SMS. And I said, no, I just called a taxi. I was like, I'm not going to give my SMS. I, why would Uber need my SMS? And so, but it's small and it's really, you, you don't, don't have power, but it's more of a citizen power, like working with that uh, NGOs and with associations and, and trying to give visibility and to empower people for them to move.